Hello guys and welcome to another video of Batch Scripting. In this tutorial we are going to learn about recursive methods in Batch. So what is a recursive method? A recursive method is a function that calls itself. And uh, all recursive methods have two, base, two cases, the base case and the recursive case. And the base case is actually a way that we can uh, stop the recursive call to the method. And uh, it's also a known solution to a problem. For example, let's take the example of factorial of a number. The factorial of five is a factorial of uh, five is a, is a multiplication of five times four times three all the way times one. So in this case, the the base case or the known solution, it will be the multiplication of all the pre uh, the previous numbers by one. We know once we reach one it's time to exit the recursive uh, the recursive call and then there is the, re the recursive case which is basically the method calling itself uh, once again let's take for example this uh, problem or uh, resolving the factorial of 5 um, in this piece of code we implement the base case and the base case is the exit of the recursion and uh, the known solution is uh, used for the base case. In this case the non-solution is when the number has reached uh, the value of 1. In that case we return 1 and we exit the recursion. And there is the recursive case which is the return of the number times the multiplication of calling recursive factorial uh, using the numbers minus 1 or decrementing the number. Uh, all recursive uh, functions have to have some sort of um, a counter or decrementation in this case uh, of the number uh, so the number can uh, can reach the value of one. So when to use rec when to use recursion? Uh, recurs recursion is not always not always used. Um, there are some problems in which uh, are easily solved using recursion as opposed to using iteration and this uh, is a, a one prime example of it using uh, resolving the factorial of a number so let's see an example using recursive uh, function in batch for example this factorial this function calculates the factorial of a number using iterations as you can see uh, we have we don't have that much uh, that many uh, lines of codes, but uh, we can we can actually improve the implementation of factorial using recursion. So I'm going to start by entering a comment that says uh, calculating factorial using recursion, and then I'm going to call my function factorial to and I'm going to start by implementing the base case and I'm going to say if the first argument equals 1 then I know I've reached the end and I know I can return 1 so I'm going to say echo 1 else echo and I'm going to open um, math expansion or mathematical expansion and I'm going to multiply the argument times and I'm going to open a command substitution since now is when I'm going to call my function and I'm going to say factorial 2 and I'm going to pass an argument decrementing the um, the number by 1 I'm going to decrement argument by 1 using a mathematical expansion I'm going to close um, command substitution and finally I'm going to close mathematical expansion. I'm going to close the if statement and finally I'm going to close braces. And somewhere down here I'm going to call the function. Actually I had already uh, written the statement. So I'm going to next I'm going to save the function. I mean, I'm going to save the uh, save the script, and I'm going to give it executable permission. And 
Next, I'm going to run the script. And as you can see, the uh, result is 120. Since I'm setting variable number to 5 and I'm passing number as an argument. So let's take a look at, uh, to what actually happens uh, during a recursive call. And for that, I'm going to use the bash command using the minus x to debug the script. And I'm going to execute the script. So if I run the script, you can see that when uh, we call the script for the first time, we pass the value, uh, the argument 5 to it, and it starts by entering into the base case, comparing 5, whether 5 is equal to 1. And then the argument or the number is rec decremented by 1, and we have our first recursive call. And we continue to check whether number is equal to 1, and we continue to recursive call the function decremented by 1 until the base case is true and we return 1 or we echo 1. Now all the functions that we previously called recursively are stored in memory and they start solving. So now 1 gets passed to the uh, to the second uh, to the second to the previous uh, call and then it gets multiplied by 2 and then we return a 2 to the previous function. So now it's 2 times 3 is equal 6 and all the way until we get the final result. So I'm going to stop right here. I don't think I need to go too deep into recursion in batch script, but uh, I thought it would be uh, useful to, to know the, uh, how to use recursion in batch script. And um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and thanks for watching.